Hello reef, aquarium, and plant lovers. My name is Jeremy Wade and I am your Canadian Reef Master. And today we're diving into the world of orchids as I go and visit the Vancouver Orchid Society's yearly show at the Van Dusen Gardens. The Vancouver Orchid Society was founded in 1946 when a group of local orchid enthusiasts got together to share their love and passion for orchids. Historically, orchids have always been considered extremely exotic and have fetched high prices. Therefore, collectors have often been extremely wealthy. Modernization of propagation and the ability to transport orchids around the world through globalization has allowed the hobbyists to expand their collections as well as reduce the prices of orchids allowing the general public to obtain such beautiful specimens for themselves. The Vancouver Orchid Society is hosting its annual show at the Van Dusen Botanical Gardens in Vancouver, British Columbia. This is a beautiful botanical garden that which I have not yet to go and walk around and that will be something I plan for this summer. But let's go have a look around the orchids at the show. As I enter the exhibit I see the first orchids on display and they are absolutely spectacular already. And before I enter the main exhibit, I'm going to take this time to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy reef, aquarium, and plant-related videos as it seems that my channel is expanding. Hit the notification button so you know when I post new videos, and check out some of the other videos on my channel, but don't forget to like and comment on them. I am truly in awe as I walk around the exhibit and see the sheer number of absolutely beautiful specimens. Now this exhibit has already been judged and there are ribbons on some of the different orchids for best in show and other prizes that they may have won. For myself, I don't take too much note in the different species as long as it is something that I can grow in the conditions that I have. I discuss with the different hobbyists which orchids they grow and which conditions they grow them in, and therefore I can tell which orchids may suit my conditions at home. Now I'm not too concerned about the names of the orchids as there is 28,000 plus different species of orchids and there are too many other fish and plants and things that I need to remember. So I go with orchids by if they're pretty and if they make me smile. Now the orchid hobby really became popular in the 1800s during the Victorian era. There was a fascination with the flower and it erupted into hysteria and people started calling it an orchid delirium as they would send out special hunters to go track down the exotic variants of the orchid so that they could put them on public display or in private greenhouses. I started collecting orchids many years ago and it was very difficult to find many of these varieties here. You had to be a specialized collector and have quite a bit of money to have many of these orchids. It's really lovely to see that these orchids are becoming more available to the public and they are able to enjoy them. People are starting to keep a lot of the orchids at home under artificial lighting and I think this is a great opportunity to bring nature into your home as well as enjoy something very beautiful as it flowers every year. Now many people are scared to dive into the world of orchids, however I strongly suggest that you attend a Vancouver Orchid Society or an orchid show like this. You can talk to some of the different hobbyists there as well as the different people that are selling the orchids to see if there's an orchid that will suit your household. I did have a Oncidium orchid that I did plant in potting soil, however this pot had good drainage and it was planted with a peace lily and a Christmas cactus. The uh, soil I guess was very nutritious and the orchid grew very rapidly. It was in a very sunny location and it flowered twice a year. Truly one of my favorite orchids and I was lucky enough to find one at the Orchid Society to bring home. I love orchids that have big sprays of flowers. They really make the plant look dramatic. 
such as this white one here. If you know the name of this orchid, make sure you comment in the comment, as I can never remember it. Even though I've had a number of them over the years, I believe I got two of them this year, and we'll have a look at which ones I got. I love that they are using a tomato cage to keep this orchid up. It has a very long stem. I'm not even sure if it's one stem or many. There's a beautiful cymbidium here that was absolutely full of flowers. They're one of my favorite orchids and I very much enjoyed looking at this specimen. The slipper orchids are truly among the most fabulous of the orchids and they really truly stand out on their displays. Even though they have a single flower, they really know how to put on a show. There are many temperate orchids that flower in my province and I would be excited to be able to find some of the different varieties of temperate orchids that I can plant outside at my home. I'm coming up to a larger selection of the Cattleya orchids, which are absolutely stunning and have always been very highly sought after. I am so lucky to have a few on the selection at the sale, and I'm hoping to pick up some really colorful ones. I believe the one that I really was looking for is this one coming up that has a striking contrast of the red and yellow. I'm not sure if it's actually a Catholic orchid. It might not be. So I'll have a look around the sale and see if they do have that orchid. More stunning Cymbidium orchids that I really wish I could have taken home. The yellow ones are absolutely beautiful. And once again, if you know the name of this beautiful pink orchid, I would love to know, as I would love to get one in the future. And we're finishing off with the most beautiful display at the show. These are all the winning orchids, I believe, and there is such a stunning mix of everything you could imagine. There's Cattleya orchids, Oncidium orchids, and one of my most favorite orchids that you can get is this beautiful white orchid. Although there are other colors, this is absolutely stunning and fills the house with a beautiful sweet scent when it flowers. I hope you enjoyed walking around the Vancouver Orchid Society's exhibit for their annual show with me at the Van Dusen Gardens in Vancouver, British Columbia. We will now have a look at the beautiful orchids that I brought home from the Vancouver Orchid Society exhibit. They are absolutely stunning and I'm really excited to have them and watch them grow. Approximately half of the orchids that I got are flowering and the other half are currently in the process of budding or will flower in the future once they really mature. During the winter, I keep my orchids in the bathroom as there's a higher humidity, it's warmer and there's a better lighting than there is in a window at my place. However, other people may have better windows for the winter growth of their orchids. They do very well for the winter here. I put them outside during the summer and I make sure they don't burn in the sun. However, I find that there is a really good growth and I get flowering in the fall uh, due to the temperature change. 
Now I have nine orchids here that I'm showing you. If you know the names, if you could comment down below, one through nine. Don't forget there's two other orchids on this video, the white one at the start and then the purple one, if you could comment the names of those as well. Now I do have tags of the orchids that I picked up. However, let's see what your orchid knowledge is. If you love orchids, check out the Vancouver Orchid Society website and see when some of their meetings are, as well as when their next sale is. Now thank you for joining me on this tour of the Vancouver Orchid Society 2013 exhibit and sale at the Van Dusen Gardens. If you enjoy videos such as this, as well as videos that include aquariums, reef aquariums, and other different hobbies, make sure you check out my channel and don't forget to subscribe, as well as like, comment, and hit the notification button so you know when I post new videos.